Hey guys, uh, back for another pot review. Uh, hopefully the volume is fixed today as well. Uh, so the problem was the uh, when you turn on your front front facing screen on iPhone. You know what? Don't worry about it. Gonna be doing a pot review today. Hopefully the volume is fixed. Uh, so this is uh, a Big Black Mama, and it was sent to me from. Uh, well, first things first. This is a cross between a Naga Morich and a Seven Pot Dubla. Uh, I don't know what generations it on generation it is on, uh, but it was created by Troy Primo, the creator of the Seven Pot Primo. Um, there's there's quite a few color variations that have came out of this. Uh, obviously black. There's caramel, red, green, mustard, and yellow. So six. There may be another one. Uh, but I think that's it. Um, so the saying this was sent to me uh, by Jimmy Sweet, and pretty much everything he sent me this year has been really hot. So I can only assume this is going to be bad, as in heat real high. Um, if you look at it, hopefully you can get a good view. I mean, I'll show you in a second anyway. It looks, it looks alien. It looks like uh, some egg of a you know a Martian or something. It's all wavy and wrinkly it's got all sorts of just corrugations in the flesh and everything um but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna cut it open and i'll show you guys what it looks like and uh from there we'll uh we'll see me suffer through it hey guys so here's the inside of the of that uh big black mama from jimmy uh very high amount of placenta uh pretty good seed count for a super hot um, the walls of the pot are a bit shiny, um, which, uh, which can mean oil, but it can also mean that the pot is just shiny. But if you look in there, you can see a lot of drips of oil. I wish this camera would do it better justice, but, uh, that's about as good as you're going to get right there. Uh, there's definitely some drips in there. If you look in there, uh, down on that part near the seeds. You can kind of see it on that back wall. And uh, it's the same story for this side, so. Yeah, uh, it is what it is. Hopefully uh, we can power through this one and give a pretty solid review. Uh, like I said in a couple videos ago, I'm trying to get a little bit better explaining of what I'm doing and whatnot. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Oh, here we go. So uh, here is the... Uh Nagamorich crossed with the Big Black Mama, or Nagamorich crossed with the Dugla, known as the Big Black Mama. Um, let's give you a little scent. You know, it's uh, it's not as much of a capsaicin scent that uh, very familiar uh capsicum china sort of smell that you get i associate that a lot of times with uh with capsaicin but uh you're not getting too much of an upfront smell like you would expect from something like this uh, i didn't mention earlier the uh, placenta looks very similar to the, what you would see inside of a seven pot dugla uh sort of a darker brownish sort of uh, placenta this one isn't as dark uh as i've seen in some douglas but it's also it's not as light as I've seen in some Douglas either, so it's a good middle range, dark placenta. But uh, what that means for for at least myself and uh, what I've heard from other reviewers as well is uh, dark placenta. Dark placenta just means, uh, well, stomach aches, so I guess we'll see. I mean, the Douglas is extremely aggressive as far as he goes. Um, Naga March is pretty hot as well. Uh, it's just not as not as an aggress not as much of an aggressive heat as I would as I would consider the seven pot dugla. So uh, I guess it's uh, I guess it's time. Let's see if I can get this stem off. No, oh, I guess that came off too easy then. Thank you, Jimmy Sweet, and uh, Big Black Mama. Well, right away, strong capsaicin flavor.
Probably very hot. Pretty floral, um, very earthy. Hey, knock it off. What are you chewing on? Dogs. Uh, this burn is a very clean, sort of painful burn. Um, yeah, like I said, it's very, uh, very clean and very painful. It's not sort of this messy all over heat. Um, it's very hot. It's about to give me a hiccup. There it is. Oh, all on the tongue. Yep. Tongue and throat. Oh, very painful. Oh, it's ramping up. Very painful. Ooh. Gotta breathe on this one. <clears throat> Alright. <sighs> oh. The flavor is rich, earthy, <clears throat> and floral. Already at my stomach. <clears throat> Starting to get a little bit of an endorph endorphin rush. Uh, in the esophagus, getting a uh, burn. Uh, whew. <clears throat> I guess you could say I'm lucky because these pots are known to get enormous. That one was large, but some of the pictures I've seen make them look a lot bigger, so. Oh, burn it up. Jimmy, this is a hot one. It's a full body heat. Um, sort, of, sort of feel it coming from the chest up now. The mouth is really turned down, but the chest is turned up. About peaked. Oh, man. Hey guys, uh, the battery actually died just now, so that was a uh, perfect timing on that video. But uh, that was just that was some else. It was hot. It was. It definitely wasn't the hottest I've ever had, nor the most painful. But it was. Uh, it was still really high up there. Um, I do have a stomach ache running right now. Uh, it's not so bad that I have to be curled up in a ball just yet. But, uh, 
I would I wouldn't doubt that I'm going to be curled up at some point. Um, so overall, I mean, it's not a bad pod. Um, it's not my favorite flavor profile, but it's not it's not bad. Um, I wish the burn would have held back a little bit before it kicked in. That way, I could have got a better overview of what the flavor was. Um, but at least you guys got to see me get burnt up. I mean, isn't that why you all watch anyway? Um, my stomach is not feeling good at all. <laughs> uh, well, um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Thank you, Jimmy, for sending the pod. And uh, hope to see you guys next time.